To make Ghana a safer and stronger country, the Ministry of Home Affairs, along with funding from the IDB, has created a citizen security strengthening program. Let's take a look at how the CSSP is bringing a safer and stronger Ghana to you. The Citizen Security Strengthening Program was designed some years ago in a previous PPTC government. Minister Rohi was intimately involved. Uh, it was designed to strengthen, to improve the engagement with the communities on the questions of their own security in confidence building initiative in respect of the services they relate to, but all of the things which come together to bring about better capability in the forces, but also confidence building and diversionary approaches amongst the members of the communities. The CSSP has three main components. The first component deals with community crime and violence prevention. The second component deals with the strengthening of the Guyana Police Force investigative and crime prevention capacity. And the final component, component three, deals with the strengthening of rehabilitative and reintegrative processes or capacity at the Guyana Prison Service. The CSSP involvement in the Guyana Prison Service is to ensure that we provide um, adequate rehabilitation programs and that fundings are available for those programs. So the overall goals of the CSSP and the Guyana Prison Service was to ensure that we reduce recidivism rate, exposing prisoners to all various training programs and thus reducing the overcrowding population within the prison. The prison census which was conducted by the CSSP in conjunction with the Guyan Prison Service was basically to make a basic needs assessment of all the five prison locations with regards to rehabilitation and general security. The prison census showed a number of areas that need improvement in the Guyan Prison Service with regards to welfare, accommodation, meals, and the various training programs persons are required to undergo. And lastly, um, with respect to the training facilities for prisoners. So currently we are moving from a penal facility to that of a correctional facility. So the many things that we would have done back then is far different from that of a correctional um, facility. So our attitude towards um, inmates must be readjusted. Our training curriculum um, has also been adjusted to suit that particular need. Our whole attitude in terms of um, the treatment and care of prisoners, their welfare, their accommodation, and as recent we would have actually employed a dietitian to review um, um, the meals issued to prisoners and we are having um, an improved balanced diet for, for prisoners and also we are looking at the sustain, sustainability of the agriculture sector. Um, within the prison service. So then there are a number of training programs which were implemented to change the culture in which offices operate. Um, starting from the low level, that is the basic recruit training program. Um, they are exposed to supervisory management and leadership and management program. Um, we also expose them to um, human rights training because that is a key component of how we manage prisoners. Um, we saw over the period 129 staff were trained in their, the Trainers for Trainers program with regards to the rehabilitation and integration model and they are currently working within the GPS um, at the various locations to train prisoners um, within those skill set that they would have learned. Regarding the rehabilitation and integration model program, specifically the digital skills training, the digital skills training program was designed and implemented and offered to 30 um, participants from the New Amsterdam prison, 15 males and 15 females, where they were exposed to various soft and hard skills um, throughout the project. The person in charge of the prison come to the dining hall and told us about the program. And you had to be the criteria, you had to be a time span of your release because the training we would have been obtained at that time in the program, we would have taken it out on our release in rehabilitating ourselves. Whatever it is that a prison have lungs is beneficial, edifying, empowering. I jump on board because you never know what it have to rehabilitate you in what form. Training have helped me in many ways. For instance, time management. As a person never could be on time or get things done in time. 
It have learned me if I have an hour and I have to do four different stuff. I can get it done because I can manage my time effectively. We had to create in our head the business which we would like to have when we leave here. Well, when I came here, I was a poultry farmer. But I want to go on large scales now with exporting. So it helped us not only to know that we're leaving here, but when we can do a business cards, how to design it. It helped us to use the computer to know to balance our balance statements, our balance sheet. You know, it helped us in many ways, yes. And today, I can fairly say I achieved two certificates in the New Amsterdam female prison in a space of just a year. CSSP has also procured equipment for the Guyana Prison Service to have the trade shops at the prisons well equipped or equipped up to date with relevant equipment for the training of inmates in skills training and, and vocational training. All of this was done so that when inmates are reintegrated, they can find employment. A safer and stronger gun is brought to you by the Ministry of Home Affairs and the Citizens Security Strengthening Programme.